Welcome to Infra SOS YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to go over the list of the top 10 best IAM tools. Now IAM tools stand for Identity Access Management Tools. Anyway, starting this list, we have at number 1, Twingate. Now with the help of Twingate, fast growing companies effortlessly implement a zero trust secure access solution without compromising their security, usability or performance. Now we are going to go over the pros and cons of Twingate. So starting off the pros, we have continuously implementation of contemporary zero trust network, which is more secure and maintainable than VPNs. Other than that, streamlined and simplified admin experience is just one of the pros that we get with Twingate. It has a simple and a snappy user experience. It resolves DNS requests locally on the remote network so the usual host names and IP addresses even work. There still are some cons of Twingate which include that it is not suitable for organizations with stringent security requirements. It provides only premium integration and consulting service. It does not have an access control at the port level and it does not provide a Linux GUI client at this current time. Anyways, moving on with our list, we have at number 2, Ping Identity. Now, Ping Identity is another leader in the IAM domain. Certainly, it is an ideal choice for an organization that wants to enhance the security of its cloud-based assets without compromising on the customer's UI. Now, it also controls access to on-premise and hybrid systems. Some of the pros that we get with Ping Identity include the support for SSO, MFA and authentication enforcement. It is applicable for on-premise, cloud and even for hybrid environments. It contains the option to manually write code if the notification actually fails. It has instant notifications and it supports multiple device login options. Some of the cons of Ping Identity include that it only focuses on the enterprise level companies. It is not appropriate for smaller networks and the notification actually requires internet. So there could be a possible issue when there is no congestion in the network and it does not support all workflows and hooks. Anyways, at number 3 we have Infra SOS. Now Infra SOS is a unified Active Directory, Teams, Exchange, Microsoft 365 and Azure Active Directory reporting solution to simplify the task of managing users in Active Directory and Office 365. Coincidentally, you get around 200 built-in reports that include reports on inactive user accounts, Microsoft 365 licenses and users last logon times. So if you want to check out the Infra SOS then the link for the Infra SOS website is going to be in the description box. So talking about the pros of Infra SOS, we have that it works and integrates with Microsoft Office products and on-premise Active Directory environments. Other than that, it enables you to build a custom workflow for ticketing and compliance, automate Active Directory tasks and delegate tasks to technicians. It is highly scalable and can manage thousands of user accounts. It has a really nice reporting feature and it streamlines new hire and termination processes. If you were to talk about some of the cons that we get with Infra SOS, well then, at current moment it only provides reporting via our SAS portal and it is only available in the English language. Anyways, moving on with our list at number 4, we have the Sale Point Identity IQ. Now the Sale Point Identity IQ is the forerunner of IAM solutions. Companies rely on this software because of its sturdy identity governance and provisioning capabilities. Now additionally, you can use this solution as a standalone on-premise or identity as a service solution. So the choice is really up to you. Some of the pros of the SailPoint Identity IQ include that it provides a good identity governance view into your organization. It integrates with numerous enterprise platforms. It is highly customizable and easy to navigate. Moreover, it is easy to connect to our internal application to extract user entitlements for manager certifications. Talking about some of the cones we get with SailPoint Identity IQ, the first and the foremost is that it requires a considerable amount of customization to get it to start working. And it does not scale well for large environments or especially when the data is not 100% clean. And in a hybrid model where applications automation is not fully rolled out, this means that there can be inconsistency in the process which leads to duplicate accounts and auditing and logging capabilities are limited. Moving on to number 5 on our list, we have the Cisco Duo Security. Now, Cisco provides a sturdy presence in both IAM and Zero Trust. Its saturation, micro-segmentation security, SD access fabric and identity service NSC solutions make Cisco the only solution to provide IAM, micro-segmentation, zero trust and network access control all at the same time. Some pros of the Cisco Duo security include that it is fast with almost no delay between the triggering of the MFA request and receiving the notification on an iPhone. Its products contain CLI, which is effortless to use and understand. In addition to the added MFA layer, a simple 4-digit passcode can be added to the authentication request. Even though the Cisco Duo security seems like the perfect option, it does contain some of the cons or drawbacks. So talking about the cons of Cisco Duo security, then sometimes the push notification takes a very long time to actually appear. 
It hangs frequently on a low bandwidth, and since its GUI is written in Java, then Active Directory Software Configure or ASA can misbehave. At number six, we have Jump Cloud. So Jump Cloud provides you with a single sign-on access, making the process of accessing resources effortlessly and secure. It is an appropriate for an on-premise and cloud application, Mac OS, Linux networks and infrastructures, and even Windows. Some of the pros of Jump Cloud include one centralized platform for easy management. The scope includes all operating system for MDM. It has an easy UI navigation system, and it can even run scripts on Windows Server. Some cons of the Jump Cloud include that the reporting on Jump Cloud requires API. It also requires the patching of application, as currently they can only patch the operating system or the OS. The SSO pre-configured settings are not always correct, and it does not support the domain name change. Anyways, moving on with our list, at number seven we have the Oracle Identity Cloud Service. Now, the Oracle Identity Cloud Service is an IAM solution that provides unrestricted cloud service catering to the needs of business ranging from data storage and network services to application testing space and so much more. Some pros that we get with Oracle Identity Cloud Service is that it handles a large volume of traffic effortlessly. There is an ease of implementation and maintenance. It has smooth user provisioning and reconciliation, and it even contains the ability to automate the access management, thus making it a very complete and easy to use solution. Some cons that we get with Oracle is that the customization is really difficult and you need customization to access several features. Understanding the event flow is also quite difficult. Anyways, at number 8 we have Okta. Now Okta is an access management, authentication and single sign-on solution. It has a simple and easy to manage SAAS based approach which helps you implement IAM and zero trust without much complexity. Some pros of Okta include the support for multiple authentication types having customized management of user roles and mapping for authentication and it can help organization adhere to complicated standards and it even allows secure saving of passwords and centralizing the work tools. Talking about the cones of Okta, then the on-premise application authentication requires expensive hardware and sometimes the automatic web fill does not work. The one-time integration effort is high for the initial setup. Anyways, anyways, at number 9, we have the Microsoft Azure Identity Management. Now, with the help of the Microsoft Azure Identity Management, you can protect your data and applications in both cloud and hybrid environment. Now, they have multiple identity management products to find what exactly your business requires. Some pros that we get with Microsoft Azure IAM is that it simply secures data and applications and even provides limited access. It provides remote access for IAM and it uses the same format and similar permission structure as other Microsoft products. Talking about some of the cons that we get with Microsoft Azure Identity Management, then we have the need for expert maintenance and management that excludes SMBs. And the complexity is very high, especially for users not familiar with the Microsoft way of doing things. And the integration with the Mac OS is not as smooth as with Windows client. Last on our list, we have the CyberArk. Now, CyberArk provides SSO, MFA, and identity lifecycle management in your workforce, endpoints, and third-party softwares. Now, its behavioral analytics sets a valuable baseline that triggers alerts and access changes whenever it detects an abnormal behavior. Talking about some of the pros that we get with CyberArk, this CyberArk makes it easy to create and enforce custom credential policies, it integrates with on-premise and cloud-based data centers, and it even provides SSO and adaptive MFA. Some cores that we get with CyberArk include its behavioral analytic tools which are slightly complex for non-enterprise clients, and it does not support the HA vault. Anyways, that was the list of the top 10 best IAM tools. Now, if you still want to learn more information about these tools, then you can simply check out the blog linked in the description box. And if you have learned anything new with this video, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.